What you want? What? What you got to say now? What you got to say now? You ain't got shit to say. When you put your girl on the snap. Kasi really suffered. Kasi really suffered. And here I thought she asking for millions of uh, US dollars from Puff Daddy a few months ago. She wasn't deserving of it. She deserved close to 50 to 100 million US dollars from Didi. Didi and Hub have already, they have already sort out, sorted out their own issue. You won't see Cassie soon Didi again. So, but the state might decide to pick up the issue versus Puff Daddy and collaboration from other women as well can get Puff Daddy jailed for almost for a very long time. For a very long time. But however, the worst scenario is that I do not think Puff Daddy will survive this. I don't think so. The video I played you now was another video from another incident. There are other videos coming out. And again, Cassie was indeed enjoying herself why she was with Puff Daddy because she knew exactly who Puffy was. She knew who Puffy was and his attitude towards women. She knew this guy wasn't okay upstairs because this guy did the same thing to other women, including his ex-girlfriend that, that passed away a few years ago, Kim, including Jennifer Lopez, who immediately ran away from Puff Daddy and other of uh, his baby, uh, his baby uh, mamas. He did those to all those women. Puffy is a controlly freak. I'm not gonna say it's an OG. An OG is a controlly freak. Yeah, deserve not to have any woman. Yeah, Puffy is a controlly freak. He has an issue, a very serious issue. So the control has grown in him over the period of time. Well, let me switch back to my Ninja talk. Honestly, I don't think say Puff Daddy will, will survive this whole thing. Honestly, if I'm being honest, he's not going to survive it. In fact, don't be surprised very soon this guy will be arrested. Mission of my DMZ. years ago, God made my mission and my purpose clear. And my mission and my purpose is to do whatever and play whatever role that I have to play into saving the black race, number one. And number two, to making sure that everybody of all colors, all backgrounds, all creeds, all nationalities, all get this. We all get the same 24 hours. Not just one race, not just another race, not just one gender, not another. We all get the same 24 hours. But I'm fighting this fight. And to other people, it's an impossible dream. It's not impossible. It's going to happen. We're going to make progress and change the world. But I can't do it alone. And I know there's people that feel just like me that are out there, that are talented, that's probably working for Google or Nike or working for bigger corporations that have a track record and have an experience at the level that I'm playing at. I'm not coming to just compete. I'm coming to win. I'm going to fucking buy Disney for us, okay? So if you are one of these unicorn executives, please send me your resumes and your portfolios to God's work because I'm doing God's work. You're doing God's work. God's work at combsglobal.com. I'm doing the biggest human resources investment from the top level of CMOs to COOs to general managers, down to creative directors, down to creative producers. The list is so long, fashion designers. Below is the list. Please, please, God told me to ask y'all for help. I need your help. I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm going crazy. 
I need talented people around me, the greatest around me. God, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please to send me some like-minded, like-frequency individuals that want to change this world. Love, please. Love, y'all. Peace. Love, y'all. When a rich man cries about changing the world, eh? It only means he want to get richer. He want to buy Disney. Now, when a rich freak man talks about changing the world, you should be extremely careful, man. <laughs> this was Didi few months ago talking about changing the world. How can a man speak about changing the world and you forgot the nasty things that you did and you were still doing? I cannot believe McMill keep defending Didi. You see, Big Me was decent 50 cent the other day. Now I bet Mick Me would be like, damn. Pop Daddy allegedly slept with Mick Me. He can't beat that case. I can't, I can't, I, I can't imagine uh, Mick Me, even his son, uh, releasing a diss record. Come on, man. And apparently, that footage you saw yesterday, released by CNN, those footages, Puff Daddy already paid the sum of 50,000 US dollars to the hotel not to release those footages. Puff Daddy took those footages from the hotel and I don't know why he never destroyed it. It was when FBI, I don't know if it's FBI or uh, uh, NYPD, I don't know what it's called over there, raided his house that they took those evidence and those videos were released. There are other videos. There are others. Puffy, <laughs> you just made it extremely hard for your lawyers to walk out of this. Come on, man. You did this to a celebrity, not just an honorable woman. You did this to a celebrity. Although you have paid her off, she's okay. <laughs> well, if you check, Cassie, I don't want to say she deserved what she got, but she enabled the attitude. She loved it then. She just grew tired of it. She knew how Puffy treated other people. Other women around him as well. You, you should hear testimony from different women. You will be mesmerized. You will be so surprised. Like, this guy seriously has a lot of serious, crazy issue in his head. I can't imagine a 54 years old man still acting so crazy. Come on, man. You are done you are done past half of your lifetime and now you still acted the same craziness wanted to change the world to buy disney wanted to change the world to get people to come rally around you come on man <laughs> crazy <laughs> crazy <laughs> Prof. Daddy Rod, I think there should be a uh, there, there should be a uh, a challenge now on TikTok. Prof. Daddy Rod, Prof. Daddy Rod has to do with a, a guy uh, wearing a toy and running uh, through the hotel lobby. That's called Prof. Daddy Rod. It's crazy, man. Uh, he had like a mansion party, and um, we went, but. While we were there, we I was sitting here, and then Puff, and then Meek, but I was like covered with like um, like a stand or something. Like probably says like Happy Birthday Meek or something like okay. that. But it's like a little stand that like was covering me, because okay. there was like a lot of cameras and stuff there. So it was like me, Puff, and Meek. Puff had like leaned forward to like um, talk to somebody, say hi or whatever. And so I turned over to Meek and I said, happy birthday. He put his hand out and he was like, thank you. So I reached his hand and shook it. And as I shook Meek's hand, he turned around and saw it and he got so mad. Wow. And, um, and then we, we probably like stayed like 20 minutes after that happened. And then when we got in the car, he like grabbed my hair. We were in the um one of those Escalade trucks. Okay. So I was sitting on this side. He was on the other side, and he like grabbed my hair and like cussed me out, um, 
for doing that. He was like, why the fuck can I cuss? Yeah. Oh, he was like, why the fuck you like you shaking his hand for like just saying so stuff it, like it was that. just I was like, like a jealous rage. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I was saying? just saying happy birthday, nothing else. He thought I think he thought I was trying to be sneaky behind his back because I like reach over mm -hmm. when he like leaned forward to talk to somebody else. So he thought I was trying to be sneaky. And you were how old at this time? Um, I was 22, probably. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then um, he did this. So it's a controlly freak. A controlly freak. Not just a controlly freak. A jealous one. Come on, man. It's only a matter of time if Pop Daddy is not. Uh, it's not a. Uh, uh, arrested and put behind bars. Matter of time that's going to take someone's life. Aro Kelly, I think Aro Kelly is a saint. Where yeah, there's Pop Daddy. Aro Kelly, come on, man. It's a saint where they call the day Pop Daddy. Well, it's crazy. Really, really crazy. Really, really crazy. But it's going down for it, though. It's going down for it. Definitely going down for it. Definitely going down for it. This is what 50 Cent we're telling people about uh, Diddy. And that guy is crazy. But people never took it seriously. People never really took it seriously. Well, what you know is that Cassie is happy now, which is now... Uh, uh, boyfriend and even that boyfriend was introduced to Cassie as a personal trainer from PDD but things just turned around Cassie found love and she moved on I'm so happy for Cassie PDD you are going down for it you are going down for it man you are going down you are going down for it you are going down for it you are going down. Ain't nobody want to mess with you again. Ain't nobody want to come close to you again. Ain't nobody want to be associated with you again. Because they're going to be like, ah, you're associating with, with PDD? Come on, man.